Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about dynamic active effects, also known as DAE. DAE can be used in a number of different ways in your game, such as maybe making class features or creating magic items. To get started, I want to take a look first at the compendium because a lot of the work is already done for you. So let's go there first. Looking at the compendium, there is a lot of stuff that's already here. Everything has been prepared and can be pulled into your game right away. You don't need to make it yourself. So if I go to DAE SRD items, you can see there are magic items that have already been made. If I go to DAE SRD spells, I can see there are spells such as bless, which means that it makes it easy to add 1d4 to my attack rolls and 1d4 to my saves. So all of this is available if you have both the DAE module as well as the DAE SRD module. Let's take a, a look at one specific example. I want to take a look at the bless spell. So I have already imported all of the SRD spells into my game. Let's take a look at the bless spell. Going here onto the effects tab, I can click edit and I can go over to effects and see what it is doing. Right now I can see it is adding ability save, 1d4, all the tech bonuses, 1d4. That is exactly how it should be. Let's go ahead and submit changes, close. And then let's say Randall the fighter here somehow, I don't know, maybe through magic initiative feat, has gained access to the spell Bless. We can see on his spell book here, we are going to now cast it onto another token. Let's go ahead and progress with that. Right, next, we are going to cast the spell Bless, targeting these three hobgoblins. I do believe that in order for this to work correctly, you do need MIDI QOL installed as well. Okay, open up my character sheet, cast Bless. After we cast the spell, we will see it in the chat, as well as next to each of the hobgoblins, we will see the status icon of the Bless spell, the Bless effect. And the GM can open it up and go into the effects and see that they are under the effect of Bless. I believe the players may be able to do it as well, but I'm not quite sure if they'll be able to edit it. It depends on your configuration. All right, let's see if this works. All right, so the Hobgoblin that is currently underneath Bless is going to target Randall the Fighter and attack Randall the Fighter with a long sword. And we can see the attack came in 1d20 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1d4. So Bless is working as intended, at least for the attack rolls. All right, so we can see how it works with things that are already in the compendium, but how could you make something of your own? Let's go through that very quickly. All right, so what I am making is I am making a plate armor plus two, both plus two to AC as well as plus two to strength. I already have the AC bonus inherent in the armor right here, so I don't need to change anything about that. However, I do need to add in the plus two bonus to strength, which I'm going to do right here add a new effect, edit the effect, and then underneath this tab here, we have abilities strength. And I'm going to add in plus two. Then I am done. So when this is on my character, they will receive a plus two bonus to strength. I want to limit though, limit it to though, only when it is equipped. So I go to DAE, enabled when equipped. Right, and then I'm done with this. I can move it onto the character and we can see that they will get the bonus. So if I go over to my character, dragging this plate armor on, equipping the plate armor, we see 18, unequip, 16. Pretty simple. So play around with this. You can see what other bonuses you can change, uh, what you can all do using dynamic effects, both to make spells or to make conditions or to make just a number of different things. Okay, thanks everyone for listening. I hope this has helped. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below.